Welcome to the Swamp Chat, brothers and sisters. I'm your host, Steve Vest. I've had several requests about uh, personal stories, uh, so here's a good one for you. It was between 1969 and 1970, and uh, I was out at Hannah Park, which uh, at that time was called the Access 4 and 5, uh, surfing, and I uh, got on the only payphone that was out there. Uh, it was right out there at the ocean, uh, right above the sand, and I called Ronnie up, and I said, Ronnie, I said, I'm out here at uh, uh, Access 4 and 5, uh, why don't you get uh, Gary or uh, Dean to bring you out here and uh, I'll teach you how to surf. I got one of my early uh, models out here, one of my early boards, it's got thick rails, it's a long board which is excellent for teaching. Well Ronnie chuckled and he said, uh, man you know I ain't going to do that if I ain't coming out there to, to uh, uh, make money. And he said, besides, I'll take time away from my fishing. Well, I knew that he fished with Gene Odom all the time. So I said, all right. Uh, well, at least I tried, Ronnie. He said, uh, Ronnie said, man, you really do uh, surf the North Jetties, don't you? I said, yeah. I said, uh, he said, I heard uh, that the swells are around nine foot. I said, yeah, they swell from nine to ten feet. He said, that's dangerous, Steve. He says, you got more nerve than I got. I said, well, uh, I enjoy surfing, Ronnie. I like to make boards, and then I like to go out and try the new boards out before we try to sell them. Now, I had a little business with Judson Legrand uh, off Myra Street, right across the street from the Good Shepherd uh, Church where I first met Ronnie uh, and Gary and Gene uh, playing basketball. And uh, so... Uh, this is the end of this story right now, part one. Part two is what I'm, uh, what I'm going to do to get all the surfing uh, friends together, all their loyal fans. I'll see you at the next Swamp Chat.